Most students see SAT math and freeze, or go right into trying to solve the problem. But here's the three-step system that gets you a perfect math score. Step one, the what. Don't get brain blasted by problems that look super long or complicated, because the SAT disguises simple concepts in complicated ways. This is why not everyone can get that perfect 800. But top scores can quickly identify what the question is actually asking. So ask yourself, what do they want me to find? The slope? Y-intercepts? Uh, okay, step two, the how. Now that you know what the question is asking, recall all the different ways you can solve it based on the information you're given. For example, if you need to find the slope, you can use the slope equation, rise over run, or look at the m value in the equation y equals mx plus b. But you may not be given a graph, so then you need to use the slope equation. Or you may need to be given the equation and need to use the graph. And step three, the check. The SAT is sneaky as so double check your answer. Is it a trap? Is it a halfway step? Did you answer what they actually asked? Reread the question to make sure you solved for the final answer, not just a number you found along the way. Want more SAT hacks? Click the video below.